All right, good morning, boys and girls. John Britt here. I'm going to do another video by myself here. Uh, glaze testing, since people seem to like that. Just showing you what I got happening here. All right, so today we're doing this test. I got this Ivan Heath brain crawl. I don't know if he calls it that, but that's what I call it. Pretty nice glaze. It's very uh, pebbly textured crawl glaze with about 25 percent magnesium carbonate. Uh, here's the recipe. It's cone six. Basically that's a hundred grams. Then I made it a thousand by moving the decimal and I added the zircle packs to it. Okay. Then just so you know all the details before we start here. It's cone six about it was the E1 firing which is basically a fast firing cycle in most kilns. Uh, and then the specific gravity was 130. That's how much water uh, was in there. Anyway, uh, then this is the cycle if you want to do a ramp schedule. Okay, so what I did, and what I a lot of times will do, is I'll make up a thousand grams of my batch, put it in this bucket. Then I'll take this blender, and as you know, I will go. <laughs> That mixes it up super good. Then what will happen is I will um, pour it into these cups. I'll get all these cups. I'll just show you the way it looks here from the back. I got all these cups lined up. I'm going to take my 1,000 gram thing. I'm going to pour it in there. Make them pretty even. That means in each cup, I have 100 grams of, of gl uh, glaze material. All right. So now what I'm going to do is... Uh, add different things to it to get different colors. So in the first cup, I basically only use that to do a uh, dipping. So I just left it the way it was. The second cup, I added this stain at 6.5%. The third cup, I added rutile at 7%. That came out pretty good. Uh, not all these are the greatest, so I'm just showing you them first, and then I'll go through each one. This stain is 6528. It's a gray stain. Pretty good. Interesting looking. This coral was good. This is the one of the ones I think I started with. That was pretty nice, and so I thought, well, I'll continue this a little. Um... Just so you know, what I did here on these tiles is I, I noticed that the main important thing with this is thickness. So I dipped this one for 10 seconds, and it's not the greatest. I can't get too close there, but anyway. Uh, but if I dip it and then let it dry, so I dip it real quick, thin coat, let it dry, and then hold it in there for three seconds, 1001, 1002, 1003, gets a very nice coat. So you can somehow figure that out for yourself. Either do it that way or thicken up your glaze, make your glaze 150 specific gravity, and then hold it. So all these are just various ways to get different thicknesses, okay? Then this one is the Zircle Packs I did. That's a really nice surface, beaded. And it is, I added 8% Zircle Packs. But if you remember, in my original, I had 8%. So that means the total in this test is 16 Zircle Packs. All right, now in this one, I have this Sunshine Yellow. Very nice pebbly deal. Um, that has possibilities. And then in this one, I thought I'd do a progression of cobalt because sometimes cobalt looks gives nice lavender with mag magnesium. So I did 0.5%, 1, 2, and 3. And this one I held in for 10 seconds. And then my final two cups, I got tired there at the end. But what I just did was I dipped this tile in laterite, which is a terra sige, first to see if it would pull it away or cause a different effect. And then these I did various amounts of iron and um, like velvet underglaze black, stuff like that. And then my last one, of course, I always do like 
uh, all of them together, and that's what this looks like. So here's the all one also. Okay, so there's a lot can be done with varying the thickness. Uh, and what I did here to try to systematically figure that out was I dipped for 3 seconds, 6 seconds, 9, 12. That had some possibilities. But I may have to, instead of making this 130, I may make this thicker. Uh, when you first start out, though, the problem always is that you're afraid that um, it's too thick and it's going to flake off because it tries to crack and stuff. So I was a little conservative on that. But anyway, that's the deal. So uh, I'm going to make some things from that. Maybe I'll show you that in the future on the Instagram page or the Facebook page or something. And so, but right now, you have to get to work because you've got 1,200 tiles to make. All right, we'll see you next time.